Right, guys, I know it's been a while, so <clears throat> just been busy with other things. Decided to do a bit more on the uh, the Minch Traction engine. So today I'm just going to make a start on the rear wheels. These are some of the spokes, obviously, that I cut out a while ago. It's probably a, over a year and a half ago now. I think I might go for like a, a different approach, which I'll tell you about in a bit anyway. So you've seen the video of me cutting the propane tank. It's one down there. I've had that for a few years and I just left it. Basically took the valve out of it and just left it full of water. Um, for, well, probably about a year outside. And then obviously just before cutting it, I, I filled it up again. Just to the bottom before I put a slit in it. So it's obviously done the job. And what I'm doing here now, these are actually bigger. I was hoping this was a 12 inch diameter, but it's not. It's about 13 and a half or so. Um, so I've got these inner rings which are going to be the, obviously part of the rim I've got a little ratchet strap here and I've just cut a section out keep cutting little bits until I get clamped that up that's a perfect fit um, ready for these rims I mean I've got these spokes here like the other one but I use a uh, there's a company that I've used a few times for laser cutting and I've actually got me to drop a, an entire spoke system with obviously all my, all my spokes in one hip and then just fit the hub on it. So I might go with that. Save a lot of time, but obviously it's a bit more expensive. I think they wanted £25 per cutout, so I'd be looking at 100 quid plus postage. But then it's like a couple of weekends work, if not doing all the riveting and that. So I'll see what I'll go. Anyway, yeah, I'm just doing this now. I'll get you some footage of it once it's done. Okay, so we're braced together. Got these little shims here, well, say little, fairly big, just to keep these parallel, obviously top and bottom all the way around. Now I should be dead on 12. Obviously I'm working off this. <clears throat> so I'll tack that up and then do the other one. And then I should have some wheels suitable for the, uh, the little engine down here. Right, so I'll get these tacked and I'll uh, see you in a bit. Right, here's the traction engine now with the uh, made a start on the rear wheels. You can see, obviously, it's got the two rims ready for the spokes. Could be a decent size, to be fair. Not focusing very well because the light. <clears throat> well, that should look pretty cool when it's done. So I'll try and keep them a bit more frequent if I can. But, like I said, the next job is to get these spokes probably profiled out to save a bit of time. Like I said, I could do them like I did the front with these. A plasma now. I think it'd be easier just to have them as like a, a fixed piece. Two sets and then sandwich them together with a, like I've done here with the hub. Let's see like two separate pieces but do these profiled it's like a whole piece but back to back with the angles on them and then it'll be three pieces of solid bar and then just drill a hole all the way through press a bush in them i think that should work pretty well so yeah so far so good all right guys i'll see you in the next video